So today I'm just east of the Austin area in the lovely community of Serban, Texas. And this is the Texas Wendish Heritage Museum. And so today I'm going to tell you an interesting story about some people that immigrated to Texas in the mid 19th century. In the early 1800s, King Friedrich William III of Prussia ordered the Lutheran and Calvinist churches to merge together. Many Lutherans resisted this merger and the Wends, aka Sorbs, were a group of Slavic people that were part of this movement. Their homeland is an area right along the boundary of Germany and Poland in modern day Europe. These people spoke a Sorbian language and were a distinct culture. The first Wends came to Texas around 1850. And in 1853, another small group of Wendish people arrived and wrote back to their home country about the great opportunity that existed here. In 1854, a man by the name of John Killian led a group of people from an area known as Lusatia, which today straddles the border of Germany and Poland. However, their journey to Texas would prove to be a very difficult one. Upon arriving to England, they were exposed to a cholera outbreak, and once they arrived to Galveston, they ran into an outbreak of yellow fever there. Several people died due to these diseases, but they pressed on and arrived in an area now known as the community of Serban. This town was once more prominent back in the 1800s, but like so many others, once the train bypassed the town in 1871, it began to decline. So right next door to the Texas Wendish Heritage Museum is the St. Paul Lutheran Church, completed in the year 1871 and is one of the oldest Lutheran churches in the state of Texas. And let me tell you, you're in for a real treat when you see the inside of this beautiful church. Very unique church here on the inside. Beautiful.
So the man who led the Wendish people to Texas lived in this cabin until his death in 1884. John Killian. Just to the north of Serban is the quiet community of Fedor. This was settled in the late 1850s by a group of winds. And this is the old store. So now we're at the Trinity Lutheran Church, formed in the year 1870. Very charming church with a unique arrangement. Very beautiful. So moving down to the south a bit, I'm now in the community of Warda. In the year 1867, a Wendish immigrant by the name of A.E. Falk moved into this area and opened the general store. This community grew and thrived throughout the late 1800s. Another big boost to the area occurred when Holy Cross Lutheran Church moved here along with all the families in 1882. And so this is not the original church, though I have seen photos of it. So today I've introduced you to some of the more important Wendish communities in the Serban area, but there are a number of others that you can explore across central Texas. <laughs>